But yeah, that was the biggest density of cutscenes so far in this game, I think. Like, almost like we're at the midpoint or something. Chapter 13 out of 26. Previously during the investigation. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? Agent York, Nick is leaving the bar. <laughs> Wait! She's still alive. Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Emily, hurry! You saved my life. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. Hello, Angel Forest Place, episode 314, Tea Break. So we're in chapter 14 now. Did Becky die in episode 1? And then episode 2 was Diane dying? Is that what happened? The episode breaks, I don't remember it very well. Freaky doors. At this point... It's really, it feels weird they arrested him because I feel like the biggest suspect is Forrest Kaysen. Because he gives us the weird little red plants that are seemingly rare and unusual. And everyone keeps dying with a belly full of red seeds. And it's like, it seems like a stronger connection than Nick, who seems to be incapacitated or out of location when half these things happen. Whereas like the only evidence Kaysen's not the killer right now is that he was locked in that place, but... I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he could find a way to lock himself in there or if there was another way into that place that he's just keeping hidden so that he could make it look like he was not the killer. Or it's a more boring answer, which is that it's a character we don't even know exists yet, in which case... Or, or it's a character we don't suspect yet and is not involved in any of those scenes, in which case we don't really have a lot to go on then. Are we doing Lost Woods right now? Oh, hey. That's very high-pitched. How do I actually look at it? I see giant candy bars and a bunch of really low resolution but kind of bump map looking textures. Now that's a trading card. Oh, there it is. I was like, how do I get it? Angel Isaiah, number 15. $200 for finding a card in my own memories, in my, in my own dreams. York, what, what are you? Open it? I already did. This one has a bush in front of it. Go that way. Chase the bush. Is the bush always on my right? Ah, hi. How do you do? Who are you? Who the hell is this person? I was wondering. Wait, he looks like us. Is he our dad? He looks a decent bit like us. I'm thinking he might be our dad. We think we'd be fixated on the memory a bit more. Or he might be me, just from the future. Since the other person is seemingly me from when I was a kid. He has things on his neck. Open this door. There is no turning back. You still want to enter? I do. It's better than staying here. Very well. I want a mind palace. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Look carefully, boy. 
At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. They went with that musical sting, huh? Did you just rob- You robbed me of the animated sheets! Don't squander them. They're a treasure. Mr. Morgan, do you want a refill? Yes, thank you. Is the coffee that good, Mr. Morgan? Coffee is a vital investigative tool. I know exactly what to do now. Harry, <laughs> what in the world? Yellow tags are 60% off. Red tags are two for one. Uh, inventory must go. It says to hurry. And the first letter of each line is H-A-R. Let's go pay the problematic rich boy who owns half of the town a visit. Polly. I think I'm going to go see Harry today. Oh, really? He's a little strange, but I think he's the most trustworthy one around here. I think you'll have fun with him. If you say so, Polly, then we probably will. Of course! Now, give me your cup and I'll give you some more coffee. I'll see you later, Polly. Mr. Morgan, what about the coffee? Don't you want to refill your coffee? What about the coffee? He still doesn't understand that you can under that you can understand him. I'm pretty sure all the time. She's always like. How is it, Polly? I am projecting so you can understand me, because you are hard of hearing. And it's the only person he talks to that way. Hello, murderer. How you doing? Hey, am I still a suspect? No. Okay, well, good. My wife and I have been living separately for over three years now. Diane, she's a single woman, so this shouldn't be a problem. That's true. I feel so bad for Diane, though. Gosh, D did you find out who did it? I can't discuss that. Yes, of course, I, I understand. You don't have to tell any of the folks around town about me and Diane, do you? No, I won't do that. But it's a small town. I'm sure the rumors have started already. Nothing to be ashamed of, right? What's there to worry about? Nothing in particular. No, nothing at all. I, I'm clean. As clean as the sheets in this hotel. What's with that look? We don't have a problem, right? It looks like Kaysen is involved with another woman in town. We can only hope it isn't Emily. Looks like Kaysen's the murderer. Oh, look. They showed him walk away, but then he's here. Awkward. Oh, then he goes again. He's doing a rerun of that scene. You? I, 
He, he could not be acting more like the murderer. <laughs> I can take a walk, right? I'm not leaving town, don't worry. He's the murderer. Look at him skulking around, looking slightly suspicious. And, and what not. Hello, Polly. What can I do for you, Mr. Morgan? Just hold on a moment, then. Ooh. The rainy stripe, blue stripe suit. I will buy every single suit you offer me. Even though it's very money wasteful. Oh, it's striped! We're gonna wear that today. Aside from that, we just want to maximize our cigarette acquisition so that I can use the waiting feature whenever they let me use it. It's important. It's very important. Do I have room for other stuff? I do. I gotta go put that suit on, especially since we're now we're now in the next day. So even though the game positions me like, hey, y York's all ready to go. He's all set. He's ready to start his day. In reality, I need to book it back to my hotel room and uh, change my clothes or the game will be like, you're stinky. And it's like, well, the game acted like York was being an adult and changing his clothes. Mr. Morgan, why not invite a girl your own age? What about Emily, perhaps? Uh... Are you hinting you already know? Or... Did you not notice that Emily was actually here just now? Last night? But you... He put that plant outside my window to, to, to target me. He needs to get rid of me, because I'm on to him. What if he's the one behind everything, but the raincoat killer is the one who comes in and actually attacks us? These new these new suits are so much better. I'm never going to use the top two ever again. Look at the colors they gave me. I got a purple suit. I got a striped suit. I got a pink suit with hearts. I got a suit with a red jacket. These top two suck. They're so boring. This one at least is like the most normal one where I'm like, yeah, do that one. But, uh, but I'm going colors. Let's go. Yeah. Style. <laughs> Let's see if I can find Polly. Not Polly, sorry. Ah, uh, Sigourney. And also maybe see if I can take a look at the, uh, really just any other of the daily sort of tasks. Those, those tend to escape me. Yeah, I'm getting increasingly convinced that he's the raincoat killer. Uh, based on what little we have to go on, really. The main po a piece of evidence against it, really, is just the fact that he wouldn't fit in the costume. But I'm not sure if the raincoat killer we see in action segments is a real thing or not. York, I can't find Thomas. Was he here? No, I haven't seen him. Have you tried the radio? I've been trying, but he's not answering. What about Nick? No problem with him. He's calmed down a little. He's still saying he didn't do it. Nick said that Thomas disappeared sometime during the night. He kept calling for him, but Thomas stopped responding. I I'm a bit worried. George has asked for permission to search for Thomas. I understand that things have been hard for Thomas, but surely he's just resting at home. Uh, but I'm not against looking for him. Tell George that he has my blessing. Okay. As far as I know, Thomas always calls in when he needs a day off. We're human, and so we are limited. As far as you know, there haven't been any serial killings here before, right? That's right, but that's not... Emily, I'm going to see Harry today. What? Why? We have plenty of other leads to follow, don't we? He did invite me over, though. It would be bad manners not to accept. Are you really an FBI agent? I think the FBI would take a more logical approach to investigations. Uh, but Emily, a serial killer does not stay within the boundaries of logic. Thus, you can't hope to capture such a killer using only logic. That's why I'm going to see Harry. You go with George and find Thomas. Okay, sounds like a plan. Great, thanks. Ugh, 
I was an idiot for thinking he might be a good pick. I really need to work on my taste in men. Wow. Strong judgment there. That took a turn. Where is my car? There it is. I was like, where the hell's my car? I paid for it. It's supposed to be around here somewhere. Yeah, there's my car and there's Emily's car. Mysteriously chasing me down. I'm happy I'm happy it works that way. It's really unnerving and weird how my cars follow me around town mysteriously. My entire car collection just shows up in various uh, parking lots near me. But it sure beats having to actually track them down, obviously. Let's see. Anywhere from 8 to 21? Wow, I've got a really big margin of error for check going to Harry's place, apparently. But in one hour, we'll have lunch available. And of course, once again, it's not raining, so I can't get the flower, which only blooms when it's raining, and I can't do anything with uh, Emily because it's raining. Zach, we've ended up with a third victim. That dive I made at the gallery ended up being a wasted attempt to save a life. That's a real mess, Zach. the last time I made a dive like that. Oh, I remember. Do you? It was in my late teens. We used to go to those concerts. You and I like punk rock, but we like different types of punk. You liked hard and heavy punk, like Crash and Sham 69. I like the more twisted ones, like the damned Buzzcocks, Siggy Pop, and Joy Division. We used to talk for hours about the bands we really liked. But for some reason, neither of us listened to the Sex Pistols. I wonder why that was. It seems strange thinking about it now. I could have sworn when it said The Clash that he said Crash. But I might have imagined that. But I have, an, I have a developing theory. A few of them, really. It might be that Forrest Kaysen's the ultimate, uh... Raincoat killer, but he has a co-conspirator. That's the guy in the actual raincoat. Surprise. Please give me the dude. Damn it. Sure. Give me a car wash and a grief. Well, let's do a refuel. I, I'm trying to bribe that dude, man. You need to let me have him. I can't bribe him if he never shows up ever again. That's what the game's doing to me. Let me bribe him! Bam. Kaysen might have a co-conspirator. Or it might be that the person that attacks me in the survival horror levels just isn't real. And it's- Yay! And it's just the manifestation of the raincoat killer. I've been waiting for you, Benjamin. I've got a good one for you today. Don't go around spreading this one. You know Wesley from Panda Bear? Guy's a trading card nut. I've seen cards lying around town, too. I'll tell you another one when I see you again. <laughs> I really wish he would let me just give me all of... I just want to give him all of the Benjamins. Just let me finish the quest. But he won't. Oh my god. How much should I give him? 120? I think I'm just making back all that money or more right now. Uh, I don't know if it'll disappear, but I'm trying not to trigger the cutscene again. There we go. But yeah, my other idea is that maybe... Uh... Yeah, maybe Forrest Kaysen is this, the rainforest killer, rainforest, uh, raincoat killer, and he's doing everything. But also, because of my animosity to the rain, rainforest, ki the raincoat killer, Jesus, uh, I might just be hallucinating this completely fictional antagonist during these her survival horror sections, because I still can't verify that any of the monsters are real, necessarily. It's hard to say. Oops, I meant to do the talk, but I, right, if I stop moving, it turns into not talking. Zach, did you want to go somewhere before we visit Harry? 
That's fine by me. I want to go all over the place. We're going to find Sigourney. Her pot's getting cold. You don't understand the level of... Hey, George. Ah, watch out. It's fine. We'll, we'll talk about the sex pistols later. George? Pizza, uh. pizza. Thomas hasn't come here, nor to Jim's place either. He mentioned he didn't know how to handle Becky and Diane's deaths. They died right in front of his eyes. I know. Even though I thought I was going to lose my mind after Diane's death. Oh. Uh. I've been sheriff here for a long time, but I've never seen a case like this. Where is this money coming from? No one knows. Anyway, let's do a box pushing job or something. There's a few things going on in here, I think. I think they're going to sell me the next map to a gauntlet this chapter. Hey, Keith. Look at him go. He's having a great time. Can you stop moving for a second? Yo, dude. York, what's up? How's Nick holding up? I can't discuss that, Keith. Right, right. You have your secrets and all that. But that isn't rock FBI secrets and stuff. I'm sorry. I understand, man. Don't worry. But if you're still here, that means... There's a good chance Nick didn't do it, right? I'm on to something right, bro. You might just be. I'm getting sharper, FBI. Need a sharp guy? Just let me know and I'll help you out, bro. Please don't be the killer, Keith. Yo, dude. Oops, that was an accident, but okay. Yep, spiritual map B. Hey, man. This map shows a station along the abandoned Extended Lines track. Now that was a busy place back when the lumber trade was big. No one goes near it now, you know. It's like a, a train graveyard. On top of that, some folks say they've even seen ghosts there. I don't mean one or two ghosts, man. I mean like hundreds. Every now and then, a golden opportunity comes along. Like a chance to leave home for a while and earn a lot of money. There were plenty of them at the end of the 80s. The lumber mill was severely short-handed, so they called in a lot of outside workers. But the place was failing, and indeed it died before most of the poor guys got there. So there was like a load of labor workers that had nowhere to go. No place to work, no way to get back to where they came from. A fair amount of them decided to live on the train they had rode in on. I guess that must have been hard living. Living on a train car that ain't moving. What kept them in town? Ah, now. The head of the lumber mill had been lying to them. Wait just a little longer. We'll have work for you soon. You know, that kind of thing. He was just a lying scumbag. No way to rock, man. But lies, they only last so long. With each day that passed, those unemployed guys got more angry. But then, something happened. And the timing for it was incredible. The rail car they were spending the night in just happened to catch fire. With all them inside it. Incredible timing indeed. Oh yeah, but the police couldn't find any evidence to pin it on anyone. They didn't have all those gadgets and stuff you guys got now. And the police were annoyed the unemployed guys were causing trouble. Nothing happened to the head of the lumber mill. It made the news as an accident. Hmm. But the rumor says that a large number of those boys are still living in that train car, unaware that they're dead. You better be careful, Mr. FBI, if you go down there by yourself. <laughs> Map to Psychic Spot B. Not really as dramatic of a name as the everything else that led up to it, is it? The last time I did one of these, I got myself an infinite ammo machine gun. Really, there's reasons to give these a go. Oh, the legend worm. 
raises the chances of getting rare items. That's just a really weird item. I'm gonna buy it for no re- Oh, no. Right, that shares inventory space with, like, other crap, doesn't it? <sighs> Yo, dude. I'll be rooting for you as long as you're in town, FBI. You're a hero. A hero of justice. The boys are rooting for you, you know. So I have to root for you too, right? That should not be the reason, but okay. I still got the flamethrower equipped. Lily. Uh. Hi, hon. You still got some business in town? Agent York, just the person I wanted to see. Oh, really? It's about our storage room again. Hun, it's a mess. But this time, the mess was caused by Keith. Is there any way I could get you to do another favor for me? <sighs> Let's get one thing straight, Lily. Just for the record, I didn't come here to organize your storage room. I came to solve a murder case. Do you understand the difference? Yes, of course. But still, you're a hero who can't ignore civilians in trouble, right? I'm just an FBI agent. Which makes you a hero? <sighs> Please, this will be the last time. Would you help me out? I'll give you this key as a reward. Is it related to the investigation? Maybe, maybe not. But I'll tell you once you've finished. Zach, she's a tough negotiator. I guess that comes from dealing with her husband and the twins. What, that she specializes in getting simpletons to do things for her? Wait, I'm sorry, what's that poster say? If it is an idea of cooking, cultivation of vegetables, recommended cooking, ingredients, appetite, and health, okay, anything. What? <laughs> what? What does that poster say? What does that mean? That's like a Google Translate poster. Thank you, hon. The storage room is this way. Part-time job, part three. Oh no. The tactics that work on small children and Keith are working on us. Well, a Keith got us into this mess, so a Keith's gonna get us out of this mess, right? Move them into the pattern sections on the floor. The storage room is tidy once all the boxes are in the pattern sections. No big deal, right? The issue is the order of operations. So I gotta be careful here. Because if I make any wrong move, then it all goes to shit. The big question is which of the boxes is going to go into the bottom one. Because I have to somehow get behind one of them and push it down from above. It also depends a bit on which directions are even valid for pushing these things in the first place. So first of all, the, f the one on the far right is already against the wall. So it cannot leave that wall, because you can't get behind it. So it has to be the one that goes in the top right corner. So that part's true. That doesn't necessarily mean I don't do anything else along the way, though. Like one thing I probably want to do is get around... Let's see. I gotta figure out which of the other two boxes goes where. So if I push the left one up and the right one up into their spots, then I get into a trap where I can't get behind the one in the middle to push to the middle yellow. I can't push it down, because I need to get behind it. Huh. How do I get behind any of these? Let's see. You could potentially push the one in the middle to the right, which would open a passage, so that you could then go all the way around and push the one on the left down, opening up access to the back continuously. Then you could run back around and push the one on the right all the way up into its home, which would give you access to the middle one again, so you could then push it back out, and then push it down. From above. Ah. Here's an issue. 
I think the one in the middle has to be the one that goes to the top left. And that's because from its current position, if you push it left, it gets stuck in a corner. And if you push it down, then you can't push it right. But like you can't go left then down, and then you can't and you can't go down then left. There's no way to move the middle one towards the middle yellow. And the the one on the right we've established is already stuck on the right wall, so it has to be the one that goes on the right. So the one in the middle has to go to the top left, and the one in the on the left has to go to the middle. Okay. I think I I think my plan I mentioned earlier then can largely work then. We start by pushing you out of the way. At that point, I believe it's safe to just push you up. In fact, there's... I don't think you really get in the way. So we've established that the one in the middle has to go into the top left. The issue is, before I push the one in the middle to the top left, I have to have you out of the way a little bit, so it's possible to move you around. Did I push you? I probably could just push it to where it's supposed to go, and I'm going to avoid... just in case it blocks something, but I don't think it will. Nope. How do I quit? <laughs> I screwed it up already. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to stop tidying? Show me the yeah, reset boxes. The mistake I made is that I moved the one on the right into its goal. Which was actually not the correct move. Gotta be real careful about locking things into place. Or the whole thing falls apart. That's what I wanted to actually do. Because now I can run around to push it left once it's up top. And I was right to not put the left one in, in its goal position either. Because, yeah, I need to go around this way. This one's gonna take a while. Just keep going. 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 Sure hope I haven't made a mistake, or I have to redo all of this. We've almost got it. And we're just gonna not acknowledge how this puzzle makes zero sense in the universe of the game. We are actively stacking these in a ways that doesn't help anybody. We're blocking passageways through the warehouse, like, there's perfectly reasonable open walls that around here that don't have anything blocking them. And th that are the boundaries of the map, which is where you'd want to put boxes, but we're like, nah, it's a Sokoban puzzle. Let's just ignore how that makes no sense in universe. You can't even walk through this place. You have to climb over everything. Agent York, thank you for this. Here's your reward. The key. You get a key. You can tell it's important because it has brackets. And what does this key open? It's the key to the closet in our garage. Closet? Yes, and there's something in there that's really valuable to Keith. He says it's the most important thing in his life second only to his family. I don't really see it in the same light. There are lots of other things in there too, and you can help yourself. Which means this wasn't related to the investigation after all? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to trick you. <laughs> I just couldn't think of another way to get you to help. You're quite a woman, Lily. Only you would be able to get me to clean up that storage room three times. 
but it's a good thing. Helping people out feels good, after all. And we FBI special agents are all living and breathing heroes. Right, Zach? Thank you, Agent York. Don't let this stop you from coming by, will you? Keith and I both enjoy your company. Don't worry about that, Lily. I'll be back. Oh no, Keith. Oh no. 